Chapter 1, Section 2, Geometry, Linear Measure. In our last section, we had points, lines, and planes. You can't measure a point. Uh, by definition, you can't measure a line. It goes on forever. And you also can't measure a plane because they technically go on forever. But we're going to measure lines today. Those are going to be line segments. And so different measurements, centimeters, millimeters, inches. Um, we're also going to get to some here in a minute that uh, we know a portion of the line segment, we know the total line segment, so we're going to find the other one. Just some simple addition, subtraction, really light lesson today. Uh, I think you'll enjoy it. So I'm going to go back, and I have pulled off, um, I have pulled off a fish, and so we're going to measure this fish in inches and into centimeters. Now I have the benefit of being able to move this fish around so I can make it just a little bit more accurate. So let's look at first, uh, we're going to look at centimeters. Remember centimeters are divided into tens and so we can do tenths of a centimeter. So I'm going to take my fish and actually I'm going to put a dot on him. I don't want to do that. I want to get my pointer and I can get my fish and I'm going to actually pull him down here so I can get a more accurate measurement. To me, that goes to 2.6 centimeters. Okay, so 2.6. Okay, so I'm going to go over here and our fish. is, is 2.6 centimeters. So now I'm going to move him down to the inches. And I'm going to line him up right there. Okay. And so I'm going to go ahead and call him, now in our inches, we're divided in sixteenths. So I'm going to call him one and I'm going to round him up a little bit because he doesn't quite get to the next one. So I'm going to call him 1 and 1 16th of an inch. Okay, so just a simple measurement. They may also, we're going to go to the next, to the next one. Let's go with just a, uh, just a line segment. Let's say it's going to be that segment right there. So again, I'm going to take my segment and I'm going to move it down. And I'm going to put it right on there. Nope, oh, nope, it's not right on there. Excuse me. I didn't realize the little white circle. There we go. So let's go right about there. I don't like this at all. Okay. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and flip this, put my centimeters at the top. And so this line segment is going to be 10, counting right there, 10.4. So 10.4 centimeters. I'm going to go ahead and flip my inches back up there now. And so I know I am almost to a quarter, but I know I'm not quite there. So I, excuse me, almost to an eighth. I know I'm not quite there. This would be one sixteenth. The next would be um, two sixteenths. So I notice on the end that I'm a little bit long. Um, so maybe I can maybe I can do this. Bear with me just a second. Maybe I can move. I'll move my ruler just a little bit to get that more accurate. Yeah, let's do that. And so that falls fairly close to um, to one eighth. So I'm going to call that four and one eight inches. Now, these will not be perfect, number one, because there's human error involved. 
and there's human vision, where does it end? Um, but most of the ones in the book will be uh, properly measured. Okay. So let's look at one last thing. Let's say I take that same line segment or same type of line segment and I'm going to make the whole thing um, from end to end is going to be uh, 16 feet. And then let's call that, let's call this ABC. ABC are all on the same line, so that would make them. And I'm going to pause here for you to ask yourself that. If ABC are all on the same line, what is their relationship? If you were thinking collinear, that is correct. So let's say from A to B is um, six and a half feet. And I want to find out what BC is. So I'm going to take my total, because I know the whole thing is 16 feet. I want to go ahead and make that into a decimal. And then I know my smaller piece is six and a half feet which is going to be 6.5. And so I'm going to take the greater piece minus the smaller piece to see what's left over. So I'm going to borrow that to 15, borrow that to 10. And so that's going to give me 9.5. You can write it 9.5 or you can write it 9 and 1 half. I don't know why I wrote it over there. Let me fix that because I had it ready over here. That's going to be nine and one half feet. Okay, so taking a portion of what you know, subtracting what you know to find the unknown. All right, nine and a half feet. In a nutshell, that is chapter one, section two, linear measure.